What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Glacier on the rank ladder with this amazing Trick Room team. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But I know I've been using a decent amount of Trick Room teams as recently. I used like a Cinderace Trick Room team, a Greninja Trick Room team, and now we're using this Glacier Trick Room team. But this team is heavy Trick Room. This is made for the meta, made to push high ranks. So if you guys are looking for an amazing Trick Room team, rent this code, which is at the top right hand corner. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team created my boy clever bells coming in clutch again making an absolute banger of a team huge shout out to him link to his channel will be down in the description below alongside with the pokey base will be over there Lilligan is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview, and Hisuian Lilligan pairs up per perfectly with Torkoal. It's got Chlorophyll to double with speed, the Focus Sash as item, After You Sleep Powder, Solar Blade, and Close Combat. Torkoal, second Pokemon, pairs up perfectly with Lilligan, and on top of that is a top tier menace within the Trick Room. It's got Drought, Charcoal, Eruption, Earth Power, Heat Wave, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be indeed really, really good at support side, and really good at setting up the Trick Room for the team. It's got Psychic Surge, the Rocky Helmet, Follow Me, Dazzling Gleam, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Hatterene. Good old Hatterene and DD combo was introduced in Gen 8 and it is still seeing some love in Gen 9. Really, really powerful to set up Trick Room and really good at doing damage in the Trick Room. It's got Magic Bounce, Life Orb as item, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, Trick Room, and Protect. Iron Hands is our fifth Pokemon, another Pokemon that is just so strong in the Trick Room. With Quirk Drive and Safety Goggles, Rock and Sword Dance set up that plus to attack, Drain Punch for Stab and HP Recovery, Wild Charge for Big Time Damage, and Protect for its final move. Sixth Pokemon is going to be Glacier, and this Pokemon in Sword and Shield, it was absolutely amazing in Trick Room, and I do not see it going anywhere within Trick Room in this game. It's got Chilling Nay, Assault Vest as item, Icicle Crash, Heavy Slam, Stomping Tantrum, and Close Combat. Amazing move set. But the one move that we don't have is Glacial Lance. And I don't know if they nerfed or anything, but I'm going to trust my boy Clover Bells with this move set right here. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Mount the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Glacier Trick Room team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a semi Trick Room team. They got Cresselia and Ursaluna alongside with Iron Hands, three Pokemon that really thrive in Trick Room, but then they also have three Pokemon that don't really thrive in Trick Room. They got Mousehold, they got Fluttermane, and they got Zapdos. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I could go in with Hisuian Logan alongside Torkoal because I feel as like that could be really, really good. I know they can fake me out if they do end up leading Iron Hands. Could be a tad bit of a problem, but from there, I could just double protect, right? You guys both have protect. Protect on you. And protect on you. I do not have protect, but... Mm, hmm. I wonder. I wonder what they're gonna do. Like I said, Iron Hands could come out here. The Iron Hands could come out here. Um, I do want to set up Trick Room. I need a Pokemon to set up Trick Room. Um... I'm thinking of going these two as lead, Logan and Torkoal, and then maybe setting up Trick Room later with, like, you, and then going Glacier as a back end Pokemon, which I really, really like. So I'm going to lock that in. I'm going to lock that down. I'm going to look to grab a surf someone here in match number one. But this team is phenomenal once you get Trick Room started off. But the only problem is going to be the Ursaluna, right? Ursaluna is also top tier within Trick Room. So setting up the Trick Room and having that Pokemon start teeing off, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a big time problem for us. So we'll see who they want to go into. They're going to go Fluttermane and Mousehold. And this seems like a pretty easy just after you terrestrialize in the fire. Drop an eruption. Get things started off hot here for rank battles, right? Looking pretty good. I'm trying to think of things that they could do with it. Don't, don't seem like much. Don't seem like much. Oh, wait a minute. They can go for. Yeah, they're going to have to go for a follow me here. They're going to have to go for follow me. And you know what? I don't really mind that because I'm just going to close combat this. He's going to have to go for follow me. Follow me is an absolute must go for him. So, you know what? I'm just going to close combat. But you know what? I could just Solar Blade. I think Solar Blade's going to be playing. I'm going to Solar Blade the Flutter Main. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to Terrasilize and Erupt. I think that's my play all day. Or, you know what? I'm going to Terrasilize Heat Wave just in case they want to do some damage onto me. But follow me has to be the play, right? It has to be follow me. Because if not, he's just giving me the free win with going after you and eruption so i'm gonna make the, the read that they're gonna go for follow me so after you is not gonna come out here for us after after you is not coming out because i don't want to just waste a turn like that so 
I'm gonna go in Solar Blade. We're gonna do that. And wow, they legit would have just gave this to us. They would have just gave us this uh this free win, pretty much. Or not free win, free eruption. But still, I guess I'll take this. That's a fine turn. We'll go for Solar Blade, doing an immense amount of damage. He's gonna super fang me. We're gonna be able to soak that. He's gonna half my health. And Dazzle Gleam, we should be able to soak up. Cool, we do soak it up. Awesome. So good thing we did go into a heat wave. This should be able to pick up the double kill if it ends up landing. I think we'd be fine from here, right? We'll see. Heat wave's gonna double land. Mouse hole might be able to eat up. Wow, I could just after you erupt it. Mouse hole does not eat up, but we can still outspeed it, which is good. So I can still outspeed that. I could go for air for you heat wave, depending on what Pokemon comes out here. Get after it that way. But that is just super surprising that they went in that after that. So Iron Hands comes out here. Um Okay, how do I wanna do this? I could put him to sleep. But I think it's gonna be my fight. Put him to sleep and maybe just go for like heat wave. If somebody dies, someone dies. It's not that big of a deal and try to set up trick him next turn. I'm cool with that. Because if I could put Iron Hands to sleep, I feel as we can really get after this. Feel as we could do this. I kind of wish we had a terror still. So I'm not going to lie. Iron Hands is a little bit of a problem for us. But we'll see. Big Out's going to pop here. He's going to take me out. That's fine. We're going to go for a nice little sleep powder. Put Iron Hands to sleep and then get my Trick Room Squad cooking. I to get that chilling nade boost rolling here as well. And here comes the follow me, so that's fine. So actually, we put Mouse Hole to sleep. That kind of hurts Soul. Kind of hurts Soul. So I could set up Trick Room. I could if I want to. I could set up Trick Room, but I don't have to. I'm thinking of just setting up my boost here. I'm going to go Glacier. I'm going to take out the Mouse Hole with Glacier. I'm going to get this boost, and I'm also going to put you to sleep. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go for a, uh, I guess a stomping catch him. What should I go for? Something to just KO the mouse hole. Heavy slams, actually super high, so I'm just gonna heavy slam into that. Finish off the mouse hole. Cool. So we'll put, we'll, we'll go double sleep. I'll be a double sleep guy this time, and we miss. Ah, my heart, my soul hurting real bad. Hurting real bad. Hopefully they take out my Logan here. Hopefully they do, and they do. Drain Punch gonna come out there. That's fine by me. We do have best, um,. I am terrified of this. It's Iron Hands here. I mean, I could go for Follow Me and just start attacking with him because he's going to be plus one at this point. Of course, he has Rocky Helmet. And we'll get after it that way. But I wish I had Protect right now because Protect would be big time. But I get that lovely little Chilling Nade boost. Um, you have to bring out you. Trick Room would be your best friend. And Ursaluna is going to come out here. So Ursaluna comes out here. Ursaluna potentially is going to Protect. Um... I might just double down into Iron Hands here. Because uh, Ursaluna might protect, get the guts going. And Ursaluna might be slower than Glace. Let's see Glacier's speed. What you got? 31. Actually, you're going to be slower than him. We need Trick Room up. We definitely need Trick Room up. So I'm going to go for Trick Room. I am also going to go for a stop and catch him in Iron Hands. Because I think Ursaluna just protects. And we'll go from there. Because this one, this one's a really good battle. We need Trick Room up, though. I need my I need my Glacier to get another turn. The Ursaluna does end up protecting. That's fine by me. We know Glacier is slower than Ursaluna, which is big time. And Drain Punch is going to fly here. And we're able to soak. That's a that's a big time soak. That's a big time soak. That's a big time soak. And that's some big damage there. We get a crit. Okay. Um, From here. What is the play from here? Because now we got Trick Room. Um... He can terrestrialize his his bear, right? Does he still have Terra? I believe he does, right? He still got Terra. Let me see what Pokemon you had. Fluttermane didn't terrestrialize. Mouse didn't terrestrialize. So the bear is going to terrestrialize. We already know that's that's happening here. I'm gonna gleam across the board here, and I'm gonna say terrestrialize isn't a normal, and I'm gonna KO it here. I'm going after that. I'm going. I'm punching it. I'm punching it with close combat. I could go for an ice move and say it's flying, but I'm going to say it's normal. I'm going to say it's normal. And if it doesn't terrestrialize, we're still super effective, which is good. So I'm going to say it's normal. Show me it's normal. Give it to me. Give it to me. Be normal. Be normal. Be normal. Be normal, please. Thank you. It's bug like my last Ursaluna. Wow, we could have just icicle crash that thing. We could have just ripped that thing apart. Close combat's not going to KO, is it? Icicle crash would have KO'd. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. My soul is hurting here. My soul is hurting here. 
Heavy Slam comes out here, dealing some damage to me. He's gonna EQ and finish us off. Iron Hands is actually gonna drop out to that. Can you go after my Indeedee? Maybe I should have went for a follow me here. They do go after Indeedee. They double Indeedee, thinking I might protect. I think I win this one. <laughs> I think I win it. I gotta land a, a shot here. But from here, we gotta go into. Let's go for 90, 90 Ice Will Crash. Actually, Ice wouldn't have been super effective, so we wouldn't have KO'd. But Ice Will Crash comes in here. We're gonna win this match. Cool. Maybe they thought I was protecting, but we'd take that all day. 1 0 to get things started off hot here. Glacier clutching up, up here. You guys gotta love it. Second match on its way, and we kind of lucked out a little bit in that last match, but we definitely should have went for Follow Me instead of a Gleam with our NDD on that last turn, considering I kind of forgot we had Rocky Helmet, so if I just followed me, that uh, Iron Hands would have hit me, it would have taken him out with Rocky Helmet, and then Ursuline would have had to come after me. Unless it was dropping EQ, which I really thought it was doing, but it ended up just going after my NDD, and we take that dub all day. But uh, second match is here, and we're going up against a Sneasel team with Shen Pao Dragonite, always a problem, Landorus with Intimidate, and then they are also rocking out with Samurai, Suing Samurai, who looks dope, and Tornadas for great lovely little support so how should i go into this one how should i play i think indeed he had a ring setting up trick room is going to be awesome it stops the first in priority it stops fake outs from sneezler it's going to stop uh tornadus's taunt all that combined is going to be awesome we're going to bring glacier in the back end and i think we got to bring the torques right or do i bring iron hands iron hands is great he can he can out bulk a lot i do like him i do like iron hands a little bit better so i'm gonna go iron hands here i'm gonna lock it in i'm gonna lock it down Let's like grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But I feel as if we can set up this trick room, we can really get thriving here. But something I'm going to have to watch out for is maybe the dark moves coming in here. Like Samrock could come in here for a lead. I would just probably follow me and trick room with Hatterene at that point. But I feel as trick room should be pretty solid for us to get off. Unless they have like an imprisoned trick room Pokemon, which I highly doubt. But Lando and Samrock is going to come out here. That is totally fine by me. Um, Follow me trick room is 100% to play. So I'm gonna do that. I am simply gonna do that. They might go for the rock side and look for the flinch, but I think we should be good. I think we should be good. So from here, follow me. Gotta be the play. And then just straight truck them, right? They have double hitting moves, rock side. That's about it, right? That's about it. So we'll go for the trick room. We'll go for the follow me. And we'll set this up for the squad. I think we'll just keep following me out with Indeedee till that thing dies. Just to get Glacier out there as much as it can in the trick room. Which I really, really like. So, follow me coming out here. We're saying, hey, yo, come over here. You guys can KO me. I don't care. Let's see how this one plays. Rock Slide is going to come out here. All we got to hope for is no flinch, right? That's all we got to hope for is no flinch. You probably died of that, right? That's totally fine. Like I said, you can go down all day. As long as Hatterene doesn't flinch and it gets off the trick room, that's a dub turn. Go ahead, Hatterene. No flinches. Spikes is flying, too. I forgot about that. That's such a cool move. Hatterene gets off the trick room. Like I said, that was a dub. Awesome turn. The winning turn right there. It's a big time turn. So we get off the trick room. I can now bring out the boy. The one. The only. Glacier. And I might even uh, terrestrialize him. I might just terrestrialize him. I might terrestrialize him in the grass. Just in case he wants to hit me up with some of, these, some of his moves. So yeah, I'm going to terrestrialize him. I am going to go into that ice of crash. Right into the lander slot. And I'm just going to stick with that and gleam. Let's get it. So I got the horsey out here. Yo, Trick Room's a problem. <laughs> Trick Room's such a problem. Wait till they add Calyrex in them, which they're probably going to do eventually later, just like Sword and Shield. That was just ridiculous. Calyrex inside Trick Room. Ice Rider Calyrex. Oh my, oh, oh my lord. It's a good game set match. It's a legit Glacier on steroids. That's exactly what it was. It's Glacier, but better. So he's going to end up with Jaw Landers. That's totally fine. Let's see what they go. They go into Shen Pao, which I don't mind because... This, is Hatterene slower? Let's see who goes first here. He's going to terrestrialize. Oh, no, that's me terrestrializing. Grass kind of hurts me here, but I'm fine with that. I mean, they can't sucker punch me. They can't really do anything. But I was terrestrializing the grass just in case Lando wanted to terrestrialize and get after me. So they're going to save the Lando. I think he wants to intimidate. And we'll see how this one plays here. He's going to actually terrestrialize his boy, too. Okay, so chances are Hatterene goes down here. We should be thriving. He goes into water. I mean, water's not too shabby. I don't, I don't mind that. Still gonna take some damage to this. Uh, this gleam gleam. 
Let's see who goes first here. So we actually go first. So this actually could be really good because if this Icicle Crash lands, this will give me a plus one boost to neglect the Intimidate that's going to come through. So we'll see. Icicle Crash does land. We get rid of Shen Pao, which is a big time. So Shen Pao is a goner. Probably Hatterene's a goner. And we'll get after it that way. I mean, that's no big deal. Showing Nate's going to give us that attack boost. We still got a few turns left in Trick Room. And a Razor Shell is going to come out of here. You razor shell me? Good thing I, I tarot in the uh, good thing I tarot in the grass. That's, that's doing some big time damage, razor shell. I haven't seen that move. Good old razor shell. So out comes Dragonite. That's fine, you cannot thrash slice. Gleam should KO. And I wanna double down into you. Gleam should KO that, right? Did we do any damage before? I mean it took Rocky Helmet damage, that's about it. What will do more damage? Psychic will actually do more damage, and I have full faith in... I have full faith in Glacier actually KOing the Dragonite with an Ice of Crash. So I'm going to KO you with that, make sure you're dead. Even with multi-scale, plus one Glacier, if it lands the Ice of Crash, it should KO. Stab, super effective. Actually, four times super effective. And we're plus one. Go ahead, Glacier. Put him down. Put him down. Get him on out of here. I don't care about multi-scale. Get it on out of here, yo. Glacier OP in Trick Room. That's why I want to use this team today. I want to bring you guys a, a full-fledged, like, over-the-top, top-tier Trick Room team that you guys can really push high ranks with. If you guys want, like, meta teams to push high ranks, my boy Clover Bells always makes good teams. Like I said, his link will be down in the description below. He's absolutely amazing at making teams. Huge shot, then. He's always making me teams. I'm always using them. Love it. But uh, I'm going to go Ice Cream Crash, and I'm going to finish this one off with a nice big old Psychic. Psychic will do more damage than that. That's a gleam. And we're fine here. We're chilling. Let's game set match. Glacier, pick it up. How many KOs? Oh, wow. Had a Reen dump it on that. Wow. Had a Reen hit like a truck as well. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 0. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. We're out here killing it. Final match coming at you guys. We're 2 0. We are guaranteed ourselves a winning record, but we're going up against a top tier rain team. My boy Pelipper, Paloops, I love to call him Paloops, alongside with Swift Swim, Basket Legion. They also have Shen Pao and Dragonite. And then last but not least, they got Amoongus and Thunders in its Therian form, I think it is. So it's uh has Defiant and it hits like a truck. So we have a few problems that we gotta watch out for. One is going to be Rain. We're gonna need Twerkle to actually counter up onto the Rain. Second problem is going to be Shen Pao Dragon. First turn priority is always a problem. So indeed, he's going to have to help us out with that with terrain control. Then third problem, I don't really know how to help us out or how to figure this one out. It's going to be Amoongus in the Trick Room. If we set Trick Room, Amoongus can just spore us up. But from here, I feel as indeed he had Arene has got to be a call, right? I really do like that. We can bring Torkoal in the back end. And I think bring Glacier is going to be probably your best bet. This thing has been teeing off. It's been doing great. I really do like this squad that we have right here. So I'm going to go into it. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three. And grab ourselves a perfect record. We're actually almost in Master Tier. Pretty close. Ultra Tier, like one more win. We'll get it, which is pretty cool. Actually, it takes me very quickly when I when I hop on the beginning of the season. Which is cool. Because I only play, I don't play off screen. I really don't. I kind of just play on screen when I'm recording. And the first three battles I record are usually the first three battles I showcase. So he's going to end up leading these two. Um, hmm. I wish I had Protect, because I really, I really want to go follow me. What's Hatterene's Terror type? Because we have, we have to, it's a must to get off Trick Room. What's your Terror type? It is Water. Okay, um. I think we swap in DD for a little bit of Sun action. And we terrestrialize the trick room. It's gonna be my play. It's gonna be my play. It is going to be my play. I'm gonna pull this out. Maybe he'll swap for Shen Pao. You never know. I highly doubt it. But I really want to throw out this water. So we can actually neglect or the, the heat so we can neglect water damage here. So doing that is going to be big time for us. Um Shen Pao's probably taking out terrain. That's why I want to swap in DD as well. So pretty smart play on our end, but this is gonna be a good battle. <laughs> this is gonna be a good battle. We need to get off trick him though. We need to get off trick him. We we must. It's an absolute must for James. 
And I don't know why I'm feeling hungry. I kind of want some Chipotle. Huge shout out to Chipotle. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm just feeling that. But great swap for us going into Torky. It's a crit, but still doing a little bit of damage. They do take out terrain. This is why I swapped the DD for later purposes. And Wave Crash coming into Torkoal. Coming into Hattering. Cool, cool. So good Terra on R. And great, great place, Jeans. Come on, man. Come on, man. So we know he's going to swap into Pelper. We 100% we know he's going to swap into Pelper. We already know he's swapping into Pelper. So he's going to swap into Pelper. I am going to go into... I could just Earth Power in the Bastion region if I want to. Which might be my play. But you know what? I want to swap into Indeed. I want to get Indeedy back here. I think Weather Control is going to be your best friend. They probably swap into Pelper. And in for that case, I'm just going to go after Bastion region. They might not, but they might just go for Sucker Punches. You never know. But I'm going to swap into Ndidi just stop first turn priority for coming out here. I'm going to go back into Ndidi. I want that terrain. I need that terrain. Terrain's got to come out here for us. And he's going to withdraw Shen Pao. So, yeah, Shen Pao goes to Pelipper. We're going to be able to get off some big time damage with the Psychic. Paloops comes out here. So, I have my Torko in the back and I can change weather as I please. And if you want to go for an Aqua Jet, you can go for an Aqua Jet. Yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. That'll be quicker than that. That'll be better than that. Let's go. Big time take out there. So now we get rid of Swift Slim Pokemon. We're making some good plays. We're making some good reads here. And now they probably go back into Shen Pao. And if they do go into Shen Pao here, this is where I just double down. I start attack, right? I start attacking. A Moogie's actually comes out here. Hey, hey, yo, a Moogie. A Moogie, what you doing? A Moogie, what you doing? Um... At this point, I go for follow me, and I just psychic down a Moogus. Need to get rid of a Moogus. Moogus and Trick Room's a problem. I'm going to follow me just in case, like, the Spore ones come out here. But we actually outspeed it, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hatterene should be slower. Ends up with Joe on Pelipper. We know it's team now. Chen Pao's going to come out here. Maybe he thought I was swapping into Torkoal. I'm, I'm not too sure about this play right here, but it's fine by me. Follow me's going to come out here. You might put my Indeedee to sleep. That's no big deal. Hatterene should just be able to rip into Amoogus here and get rid of it. Right? See you later, Amoogus. You're not surviving this. Cool. Yeah, Hatterene's real deal, too. Hatterene's a menace. That's a menace. But, yo, what a match for us. We came out hot. We came out hot in this match. Make some good plays. Saw their lead. Swap cord, like, perfectly to, uh, towards it. All that good stuff. And now they're sitting here with Pelipper. Um... I feel as here they can't use first turn priority until they take out terrain, so I'm just gonna double dash and beam just to try to get rid of Shen Pao and do some damage. But they cancel battle. We sweep here in match number three, grab ourselves a perfect record, and we don't even use Glacier in that battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a perfect 3-0 record with this top tier Glacier trick room. Seriously, hopefully you guys enjoy. I want to give one last huge shout out to my boy Color Bells for actually making this team and making it so good. You always make absolute bangers with teams. Very, very strong teams to push high ranks. So again, if you guys want this team, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And something else I want to mention, if you guys made it this far, why not consider becoming a member? There's a join button down below. If the join button's not there, head to the link in the description below. It says become a member and then there's a link. Click that, become a member, support me a little bit extra. It really goes a long way. You get a bunch of channel perks. It's really, really dope. Plus, huge shout out to all my members. You guys are the real ones. You guys are the real ones. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.